by the end of this lecture, you're going to understand the difference between view children and content children of a component. And you're also going to know how to get references to child components in host components. The view children of a given component are the elements used within its template, its view. We can get a reference to these view children in our component class by using the view child decorator. And we're going to explain how all of this works using the joke application we've been working with so far in this course. I've changed the application so that the joke list component shows two jokes in its own view and one joke which is content projected in from its host app component. So let me just go through the code really quickly. I'm also collapsing some of the code blocks just to make things clearer and make sure we're just focusing on the code that's important for this lecture. So in fact, we don't need to see joke as well. So in the joke list component, we're showing some jokes which we are saying are part of its own view. So these jokes are part of the view of the joke list component. And we also have an ng content tag at the bottom of the joke list component. And if we look at the app components template, we can see that we are projecting in to the joke list component. We are projecting in another joke. So this is going to be projected into this tag here. So that's why these are content jokes and that's why these are view jokes. So if you run the application, we can see there's the two view jokes here. And these are the ones that are part of the joke list component view. And then we have something called a content joke. And this joke is getting projected in through the app component. So in our joke list component, let's add a reference to the child joke components that exist in its view. And we do this by using the view child decorator. So firstly, we need to import view child. So let's go into the import section. It comes from Angular core. So we just add it into the list here. We go back to our joke list component and I'm just going to paste some code in. So I've created a property called joke view child and the type of that property is joke component. Now I just want to make that clear. We are storing an instance of the joke component, not an instance of the joke class, but the joke component itself. We've prepended our property with the decorator view child. And this decorator tells Angular how to find the child component that we want to bind to this property. The parameter we pass as the first argument to view child is the type of the component we want to search for. And with the view child decorator, if it finds more than one, it just gives us the first one it finds. Now let's actually just print out what this joke view child property contains in the constructor. Okay, so in the constructor for our joke list component, I'm just going to log out new joke view child and then just the reference to the joke view child itself. So now if you inspect element, Let's clear the console and run our application again. So we can see that the log line here is where we're printing out from the constructor. And here the joke view child is undefined. That's because by the time the constructor is called, we haven't rendered the children yet. We render in a tree down approach. So when a parent component is getting constructed, it means the children are not yet created. We can, however, hook into the life cycle of the component at the point the view children have been created. And that's with the ng after view init hook. And to use this, we need to make sure our component implements the interface after view init. Let me close that out. So let's implement, implements after view init. This isn't strictly necessary, but it is very much recommended. Again, Let's import that. And it's again from Angular Core. And now let's add an ng after view init hook. And inside there, let's also do the same thing. Let's print out the 
joke view child property. Okay, so active view in it, when that gets fired, it's gonna print out the value of the joke view child property. So now let's inspect element, clear, run. So in the ng after view init function, joke view child has been initialized and we can see it logged in the console here. So if we want to interact with view child references in our component, we need to do that in the ng after view init function. Now this isn't so useful in our case since we have multiple joke children components. We can solve that by using the alternative view children decorator alongside the query list generic type. So let's import both of those into our import list. View children and query list. Now let's go back into our joke list component and let's create another property called joke view children. So a few things to note, we use the view children decorator and this matches all the joke components it can find in the view of the component and stores them in a query list called joke view children. Now query list is just a type of list that we use in Angular. But if we want to interact with our joke components as an array, we can just call the toArray function of our joke view children. So let's have a look in our ng after view init function. Let's create a variable called jokes. It's going to hold an array of joke components. And we get that array by calling the toArray function on our joke view children property. And then we're just gonna print them out to the console. So now, let's run our application again. And there we can see both of the joke components from our joke list component are being printed out. Both of the view components are getting printed out. And that's a really important distinction. We are only seeing two joke components. We see three on the right hand side, but we're only seeing two printed out. So the reason we see two jokes printed out and not three is because only two of the jokes are view children. The other joke is a content child. That's the joke that we projected in via content projection and we cover content children at the end of this lecture. So one practical application of the view child decorator is to get access to template local variables in our component. So in the past, we've said that template local variables are just that, local to the template. But as the first parameter to the view child decorator, we can also pass in the name of a template local variable and have Angular store a reference to that variable on our, our component. So let's add a template local variable to our view jokes header. And let's call it header. And then let's create a property called header L. And it has a type called element ref. That's just a generic type which we can assign to any DOM element in our view. And again, we need to import it. So let's add it to our imports list. And we also need to decorate it. So we decorate it with our view child decorator. And as parameter to the view child, we give the name that we gave the template local variable, reference variable, which is header. So again, in our ng after view init function, we have access to the header element. And it also means we can change it. So if I called this, So if we call header l dot native element, that gives us access to the raw DOM element. And then we can just change the text content by just assigning it another value. So now if I run the application, we now get best joke machine printed out because well, I'm changing the value in our ng after view init function. So now we're gonna talk about content child and content children. 
The concept of a content child is similar to that of a view child, but the content children of a given component are the child elements that are projected into the component from the host component. So in our example application, we are projecting one joke in from the host app component. To get a reference to that child, we can use either the content child decorator or the content children decorator. And they work in similar ways to the view child counterparts. Content child returns one child and content children returns a query list. Let's use content child to get a reference to the third joke that is projected in. So let's import content child to our imports list. Again, it's from Angular Core. We create a property called joke content child, which is again a type of joke component. And we decorate it with the content child decorator. And just like view child, we give it the type of content of component that it should be finding in the view. But if we try to print a reference to joke content child from ng after view in it, and just like the view child decorator, we need to tap into one of the component lifestyle hooks, a different one. This time it's the after content in it hook. So let's add that in here. And then let's import it in. And then add the function. And then let's add a console log, just to log out the content child. So again, just like the view child, if we log the co joke content child in our constructor, it would again log undefined since it's not actually initialized at that point. Content children are only visible by the time the after content in it lifecycle hook has run. So if I inspect element, we stop run, clear the console and run. We can see here the joke content child is set to something in the ng after content in it hook. So in summary, an Angular application is composed from a number of components nested together. These components can nest in one of two ways, as view children in the template for the component or they can nest as content children via content projection from the host component. As developers of our components, we can get access to these child components via the view child and content child decorators, and also the view children and content children decorators. View children of a component are the components and elements in this component's view. Content children of a component are the components and elements that are projected into this component's view by a host component. View children are only initialized by the time the after view init lifecycle phase has been run, and content children are only initialized by the time the after content init lifecycle phase has been run.